So here's the spreadsheet with three new companies. We'll look at Sundial, Verano, and High Tide coming up. All right, so looking at these cannabis companies has been a pretty interesting learning experience for me. Like having not really been in the scene, honestly, my experience with cannabis products are probably limited to, you know, uh, looking at the sunset over the gorge, watching the XX play, or was that? Disney on Ice? Well, the Drake concert was definitely secondhand. The last cannabis comparison I did was uh, well received by everybody and I got three suggestions from um, three subscribers, which I'm happy to do. And so rather than go through all of these companies um, individually, I'm just gonna go high level, hit the basics of each one in case you're not uh, familiar with them yet. And then I'm just gonna do the table and at the very end, I'll kind of pick uh, my favorite of these three. Okay, so first up, let's start with Sundial. Based in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. What up, Calgary? That is where I live. Whoa, whoa, see. They sell flower, oil, vape, pre-roll, resin, and hash under four brands, which are Sundial, Top Leaf, Palmetto, and Grasslands. They're pretty streamlined in the sense they don't have a ton of different forms of what they sell. Um, they just kind of have them under different labels. And most recent news is they bought Spirit Leaf, which is a retailer, which now allows them to sell their products uh, directly through their own locations. Next up, we have Verano. It's got 11 cultivation and production locations operating in 14 states. It's got 84 retail locations. They have flower pre-roll, vapes, concentrates under four brands, which are Verano and Avexia, which is the wellness brand, Encore, which is edible, only and uh, Mav, which is a little bit of everything. They also have some dispensaries under the name of Zenleaf. And biggest news this last quarter was their recent acquisition of Sierra Well, which expands their footprint in Nevada. Now, the third one is High Tide. It is founded in 2009 and operates across Europe, the US, and Canada. So, based in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, what up, Calgary? That is where I live. What up? What I see? It's got 11 brands which sell flower, vape, pre roll, concentrate, edibles, beverages, oils, and capsules, as well well as accessories in hemp. Um, there is actually a lot of kind of overlaps there between the different brands. I think they got four brands that just sell accessories. So there are a lot of little pieces to this one. They heavily advertise like their online presence and how much traffic their uh, their websites get. And that's mostly because a couple of these brands are actually online only, which is a little bit of a different angle from what we've seen the rest of the cannabis companies, which is interesting. They've opened 13 new retail locations in the last quarter and completed in the acquisition of their most recent brand, which is Smoke Central. Okay, so now it's time for the comparison. I'm just gonna put up the spreadsheet right away here and Let's just go through the stats like we did last time. All right, so across the top, you've got your uh, different ticker symbols. The stock price as of the end of August 13th. Now you can see from the market caps, like our smallest market cap was Cresco, I believe at 2.5 billion. And the biggest one here is Sundown and Verano at about one and a half. So you can see these are a lot smaller than the previous ones that we talked about. Now the earnings per share, only one of them is positive, but uh, we'll talk about that in the next few sections here. And the one analyst price target to kind of look at here is actually Sundown Sundial analysts are expecting Sundial to decrease uh, over the 12 month period. And in fact, today it went down from 82 cents down to 75. So that is actually what analysts are predicting to happen. And uh, that's why I highlighted that there. They don't have as large of an upside here as, you, as they do predict for the other two companies. Now we can see why when we move to the revenue section. Now these dates I've got on the top just shows you where um, the, each company depicts their kind of the end of their year. Um, and so you're not comparing quite apples to apples, but it's it's pretty close. Either way, you can see the year over year revenue is actually negative for Sundial, but high in the positives for the other two. And when you look at last quarter's revenue, it's moving in the right direction for the other two, but not so much for Sundial. So that's kind of the reason why the stock has been suffering a little bit. If you look at the earnings, Sundial negative across the board. Um, I have a little note here that Q1 is at the end of March, whereas the other two are actually at the start of June. So that's just a note for, for you. Um, earnings year over year are increasing for all of them. Now, if you look at the trend from this quarter to last quarter, you can see it's uh, it's going down for Sundial, going down for Verano as well, but Verano has a little bit of a sporadic earnings over the years and High Tide has gone up. However, its earnings are still negative. So I just wanted to highlight those for you. If we look at price to sales ratio, so we can see again, the Sundial's at a bit of a disadvantage. Price to book though, uh, it's probably got the, the most attractive, but the other two are still pretty good. Now current ratios are all above one, which is good, um, Sundial being the highest. Now this could be just they have a, a large number of assets Sets. And the profit margins, though, are uh, are where Verano really sh shines. It's got uh, positive profit, positive operating margin, positive cash flow, 
Um, next up, you sort of have High Tide, which has got negative, it's still working its way into profitability. So it's negative profit and uh, negative operating margin. So they're working on that. And then on the other side, you've got Sundial, which is uh, kind of right at the cusp with their profit margin, but their operating profit margin is low and you really want this to be high or close to being profitable. So. So you can see there's a little bit of like, there are some red flags here and, and that kind of makes it clear where my favorite might be. But before we get into that, I put up another poll in the community tab. If you guys go there, you can vote for your favorite of these three. I'm always curious to know what you guys think. So pause the video, go do that and come back and then I'll get into what my favorite is. So I don't think you guys will be surprised. Verano is my, is my pick. I really like this streamlined set of products and brands. It's not over the top. It's uh, even easy for someone like me to go in and understand exactly what they make, what my different choices are. And, uh, and I really like that about Verano. My second, or let's say top pick of the Canadian options is probably High Tide. And I know that's kind of weird because I typically don't like all the different brands and it gets confusing for trying to find products, but it kind of makes sense to me because the company has bought other businesses that have originated in Amsterdam and they have brands in the US. And so it does kind of make sense to me that they have all these different avenues. And I do like that they're sort of concentrating on online sales because that would be really popular that kind of, now that I think about it, is sort of a no brainer. It is good to focus on your online as well as your brick and mortar retail um, to have all these different ways for people to access your product. So I really like that. I would say it's the second healthiest when it comes to the numbers too. So that's why I'm kind of leaning towards that. But again, doesn't really matter what I think. What do you guys think? Are you holding any of these companies? Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Don't forget to go vote. And uh, let's discuss in, uh, in the comments below this video. But until next time, have a great week. Spread the wealth, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Sundial is based in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Whoop whoop, that is where I live. Based in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. What up, Calgary? That is where I live. What I see? So based in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. What up, Calgary? That is where I live. What up? What I see? So based in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. That is where I live. What up? Why why?